Welcome back to Satisfactory. I've done uh, quite a bit of work in between episodes here, just to make sure that uh, the progress is uh, decent and good, um, so that we can get to uh, the new content as quickly as possible. Now, the iron plate construction here, that's now working, and uh, this is what I did in the previous episode. On the other side, I've uh, set up uh, iron rod construction from these two uh, smelters. And here it was just sufficient to use one belt. So there are four iron rod uh, manufacturing constructors here. That sends iron rods into this storage container and then the excess that is not stored here goes out to these four constructors over here. And these constructors of course make screws. Now they have made some changes to the screw recipe, so instead of making 90 parts per minute, it's now making 40. And that kind of messes with my brain, because I have to uh, redo all the ratios, and uh, there is no cheat sheet or calculator that I've been able to find. So I have to do it manually. Um, the screws and the iron plates from one of the sides of these uh, iron plate constructors over here go to these two assemblers that are of course making reinforced iron plates which are sent to this storage container here. This is a slow process but as with the iron rods there is a slight excess of screws so that we also have a couple of screws being stored up in this container here. I don't think I need to run around with uh, that stack, so we can put that in there. I've also went out and gathered uh, a few hard drives, and uh, that's the first thing I want to do. I needed more power, so I set up another power plant here. I should probably refill them soon. I also went on a chainsaw massacre of trees to get more biomass so I could make more of the solid biomass. But for now let's have a look at the uh, research options. That's something that I do want to do on the um, in the actual recordings. Let's scan a hard drive. That'll take 10 minutes. So while that's scanning, uh, let's put this back in here. The uh, next step that I have to do, mostly due to the uh, lack of having enough belts, is I need to for figure out where to put the space elevator. That is a rather important part. Also, to get the jump pads, I'm not sure if I need the jump pads, so I might just skip these for now. We need rotors. I suppose I could just handcraft the rotors. Also, for the resource sync program, that one we can actually just do. Let's go collect what we need for the resource sync program. We only need some concrete, so... After all, that uh, pod takes some time in returning to base. Another thing that I definitely must research, but since I'm analysing a hard drive, I can't at the moment, uh, is... Um, no, not that one. There we go. Uh, we need to research the uh, quick wire uh, under the Katerium tree in the MAM. I do wonder if I'm allowed to put up more than one MAM. I am. Isn't that handy? That is actually very handy. The question is, can I use the second MAM? see here if we set up a um, um, there can I use this no it is they are linked I'm not surprised by that anything else would have been slightly ridiculous okay let's uh, put 400 concrete 500 copper wire 200 iron rods and 200 iron plates in here and boom. 
Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Yeah, with the jingle the man makes, and that, this definitely uh, reminds me of uh, the Outer Worlds. Okay, so we have an awesome sink. Which is... Not exactly small. Let's uh, place one down just to see how it works. That's a big grinder. Needs power. Can I just put things in here? No, I can't. Okay, let's uh, tear it down again then. We want to test it to see how it works. Awesome sink. If we place it there, then I can place a storage container. There. And we can make a conveyor belt going from there to there. And I can place some mine plates in there. And we need power to it as well, so let's just make a crisscross power line for now. And, uh, that kind of turned off my power network. It's that bad, is it? Well, I can always place another biomass burner here. remove that power line and what why does it suddenly have issues with the power network are any of the burners out of fuel grab a whole lot of these. I guess we need a power pole that can attach to the new burner as well. This actually seems fine. I don't see the problem here. Even if we didn't have an actual problem right now, it would arrive very shortly. Okay. Is that sufficient to run the uh, thing? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're getting coupons here. Not many, but we are getting them. rather impressive. Well, that is uh, running. Let's have a look at the uh, awesome shop. Okay, doesn't really seem to have any kind of uh, best store on the planet. 
Okay, so we can actually, instead of researching walls, we can now buy the walls with uh, these coupons. Attachments. Pipeline wall attachments. Curved foundations. Interesting. Foundation frame. Foundation glass. Well now. Inverted ramps. Oh, that is that is so good. Double ramps. Foundation pillars. Corner ramps. Ah, the fix-it factory car. And factory railings and stairs. That's uh, under organizations. Statues. Satisfactory pioneering statue. 150. I like this one though. Why can't we get that? Oh, oh. There are. Lizard Doggo. Oh, that's so cute. Silver Hog. Confusing creature. The Golden Nut. Mm-hmm. Uh, equipment. We have beacons. That gives us ten beacons. And the Fix-It Coffee Cup. Now the parts. We can buy biomass and biofuel for these coupons. We can also buy these things. Well, that's not bad. You can actually build the, or buy the things from that uh, factory. Or shredder, I guess. Ah, you get a shopping cart as well. How cute. Wall power poles. That also looks quite useful. Walkways, yeah. Okay, so this is definitely something that we want to have uh, running. Um, but for now, it was just a matter of testing it. Let's uh, okay, let's let's at least get one of the coupons. I don't think we want this running until we have the. Um, coal power up and running, because I'm not going to waste lots of biomass on this. It's uh, stressful enough to have to go around and uh, go on tree-killing sprees to get enough um, of the uh, loose biomass until, and then manufacture that into solid biofuel for the few um, bio power plants we have currently. For instance, using concrete for this might not be a bad idea, especially since this area that I'm currently in has uh, an excess of pure limestone nodes. So I think that's uh, something that we should definitely look into. Come on. Grab the rest of these and dismantle that and that. Let's print the coupon. Thank you. And now let's just tear it down. Let's put the uh, coupon in here. There we go. How are you coming along? The analysis is complete. Okay, so casted screw can make iron ingots directly into screws. Which will produce 50 per minute instead of 40 per minute. Not sure if that is a... Uh A good uh, recipe or not, but um, compared to the other two, it's definitely the one that I'm going to take. Um, Caterium, not research. Here they are. I need 10 modular frames. AI limiter. What the heck is this? Copper sheets. Okay. What does this do? 
super advanced electronics that are used to control AIs and keep them from evolving in malicious ways. And also power poles, MK2. Well, I do want the Blade Runners first, without a doubt. What is this? Well, I can't click it. It's a smart splitter. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I need to... I can just make ten of them. Runners start research. That'll take five minutes, but that's going to be uh, five very worthy minutes. What do we need to produce the space elevator? Okay, 500 concrete. Sheesh, it's so friggin' big. 500 concrete. So we need more iron rods. Put that back in there. Sort and sort. Need 1500 copper wire. We can get that from here. Let's do that and put that one back in and grab a fifth. No, it was 1500, so I don't need two and a half thousand of it. And we need more concrete. I freely admit I have no idea where to put the space elevator. Maybe out there. Sort and sort. And that is what we need. I might put it out here. With those turning this way. But, before I can do that, I need to go on yet another tree murdering spree. So we do this and we equip the chainsaw. And as someone handily noted, that the rock that was in the middle of the base that I was uncertain of how to get rid of, it, it's gone. Yeah, and that one disappeared as well, so... This is a very powerful chainsaw. wonder if it works with these rocks as well. Not that they're a nib. They're not a big issue, these rocks. Well, it does work with them. They would be hidden by the uh, foundations. But this one, on the other hand... Ah. Perfect. These I don't think is a... Oh, these I don't think would be a problem. get rid of all the plant life we can get rid of out here. We don't get much uh, leaves from these little uh, plants. Well, it is 99. But it adds up from the previous ones as well. limestone too. I should uh, consider setting up a um, container with limestone in it. Just to get rid of the uh, limestone I have. So that it's not filling up my uh, storage containers. fuel left. Let's go 
grab these as well while we're at it, just to get as much leaves as possible. Perfect. Can I get rid of this rock? Yes, I can. Sadly, there is no plant life left, so I can't get rid of these. Which is a shame. Maybe I can get rid of one of them. Yep, but I can't get rid of that one. Okay, so that severely filled up the inventory. This looks like uh, it is. And here too. Having all these will uh, save me uh, quite some time when I need more. Okay, um, now let's make a storage box for that. And get rid of the uh, chainsaw, please. Put all of this stuff in this chest and then take all from this one. And let's start placing down foundations. I have no idea if this is going to be enough foundations for the space elevator. To build, need to build some kind of um, support structure thing because I don't want floating foundations. that this is probably the most creative foundation work I've done in a long time. Can I get rid of this rock? Sadly, no. Okay, um... Oh, that's the wrong foundation. I like how it's just throwing the uh, bags of concrete around. soothing actually okay we need more concrete we need a lookout tower because placing that space elevator is something that if I don't have a lookout tower it's going to be very hard to see so special space elevator it is big enough for it I think I have to place it like that because Otherwise, getting the belts in is not going to be very uh, simple. Um, but we can place it almost out to the edge. One in, please. Come on. There we go. That should be sufficient to get access to both of the... Uh, 
belt ins inserters on both sides. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love this. Boom. And here comes the uh, tether. You know, standing here when a tether is on its way down from the sky like that, I probably wouldn't be doing that willingly. And it's been uh, anchored. There we go. Ah, magnificent. Oh, there's a ladder here. I haven't seen that before. Okay, so for the first uh, part, we need 50 smart plating. That is not too expensive. They're actually quite simple to make as well. 50 rotors and 50 um, reinforced iron plates. Can they be handcrafted? Let's get rid of these. Bring them back to the um, main section. Uh, also, the uh, Caterium uh, runners should be done in the MAM. Wait, I have one of these that I was placing. Yeah, this one. So, limestone. I've also gathered some computers, circuit boards, heat sinks, and motors, and also some encased industrial beams when I was gathering the, um, the, um, hard drives. Okay, so this, we can take out the leaves and put in the flower petals, we can put in the mycelia, take the wood. Also, I can grab the hard drives. Is there anything else in here that I want to research currently? No. Uh, let's put the silica in there. I like how it... I'm not sure if that's... I should call it a bug or something, but I like how it, whenever you sort the inventory, it uh, tells you what you've gained. <laughs> the Blade Runners is completed. New equipment unlocked. Perfect. So one of the most important parts of equipment in the game. Caterium, we can continue with getting the AI limiter. Uh, I don't have the copper sheets though. But getting the inflated pocket dimension, that is something that I, uh, that I want. So let's go grab some reinforced... Uh, no. No, 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 no. Blade Runners. I need three modular frames. Come on. Thank you. Blade Runners, craft, please. Thank you. Now put these on. Now we can go get it. Ah, that is so much better. Bliss, bliss, and more bliss. Okay, grab a couple of these. Boing, 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 boing. Okay. Um, Caterium. Let's get this. And now I'm all out of copper wire. Boing. Boing. I'm just so happy about the Blade Runners that I can just bounce around everywhere. Grab another stack of these. I actually run too fast to sufficiently enter the uh, living quarters. Oh, there's even a bathroom here. I haven't noticed that before. Hey. Hi. 
what you did was really cool. Thanks for the support. Do you want to go watch a movie sometime? If you want. If not, that's cool too. If you have time, of course. Are you there? Hello. CSS muted pioneer for 1,000 years. Right. System update. A new system update has been released. Would you like to install the update now? It will require a restart. And also, apparently, we're playing Solitaire. Fix it, Solitaire. That's a very crickety like sound. Um, now, in case I die, which I'm pretty sure will happen, particularly if I die out in the fields. Let's make another set of Blade Runners. There we go. And put it in here, so that we have a set lying at home for um, the benefit of running out and uh, getting back our equipment. Also, I should eat some nuts. I'm not going to bother making another one of these sapsticks, because I'm eagerly awaiting the swords. Inflated pocket dimension complete, so we get more uh, inventory slots. Perfect. Pocket dimension has been inflated. Now... We could get the color gun, but I'm not that concerned with it just yet. My Celia, we still need the... Uh, Pale berries, fabric, could have, we could craft some fabric, I suppose, to get the parachutes, but, uh, nah. Power slugs, we need, we have everything we need to research overclocking. Here we can get inflated pocket dimension as well, and here we can get expanded tool belt. That requires five alien carapaces, and this one requires five alien organs. I have enough carapaces, so we will get that. So we can... oh, I need uh, another stack of uh, copper wire. I'll just take two stacks, since I uh, would like to have 500 on me as well, in case I need to uh, craft something. Uh, alien organisms, expanded tool belt, research. Now, I'm not going to do research in between, or I might do research in between episodes, actually. The hard drives, they take 10 minutes each, and some of these are, uh, they take some time. Um, but if I do, I will tell you, of course, at the beginning of uh, an episode what I have uh, researched, so that you're aware of it, because it is, of course, fun for you to know. As for new stuff, um, if I run into any uh, new stuff that I want to um, um, research, I'll try to keep that for the actual episodes at least finishing the research for the actual episodes. I might start it between episodes, but I'll finish it inside of the episode. Notice also how we cannot make the uh, research parts for the space elevator uh, by hand. They actually have to be made in an assembling plant. Um, and since it requires two parts, that means it needs to be made inside of an assembler. The recipe here is here. Um, but I need to set up rotor production. And for the rotor production, I'm going to have to tap these iron nodes, because we don't have the um, uh, MK3 belts yet, and we need the MK3 belts before we can actually um, make use of the, um, the uh, full potential of these um, mines. I guess I could set up more uh, smelters over there, but I think that I have saturated uh, currently. 
about we don't have enough space anyway so i would have to build a second story well whereas this area would give me a rather large space to make uh, both rotors and what else do i need to make let's see here production craft bench okay so we need modular frames We need copper sheets. And we need... Rotors. Okay. Let me just quickly put that down. Okay, so... And I do apologize for calling these things modular frames. They are clearly baby bulk cubes. I will try to remember in the future. Um, okay, so there you know uh, a little bit about the plants that I'm going to do. Um, someone mentioned uh, time lapse as something that they um, thought would be fun. So I might record... Uh, everything I do um, and make a time lapse of it and just do some uh, of the in-game music as part of the uh, the audio um, but one of the issues with doing a time lapse is that it requires um, heavy rendering that is one thing so it's pretty time consuming to do so. Uh, the other uh, bit about it is that it is difficult for me to voice over in a time lapse. I would have to to make a voice over manually. So I like the idea and I think I will try it but I'm not sure how successful it will be in terms of uh, viewer enjoyment. Depends on how much you like hearing my voice, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I can record what I'm going to do here as a time lapse and post the recording whenever I need to go handcraft something. Uh, like I do have to go and craft uh, biomass so that I can make more solid biofuel. Um, and that can be the second episode for today. Um, or at least partial time lapse in the second. It depends on how long the time lapse will be. I don't know. I'll record uh, with the microphone muted and uh, we'll just see how it turns out. But for now, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you all in the next episode, but possibly without much uh, voice interaction. So again, see you all then. <laughs>